myself i am uh, sn ramesh md of this uh, rashi eco tourism uh, limited uh, company this is uh, guhantara where we are standing now today we are celebrated uh, on a big event that is a very beginning in our rotary history we are given a award to the road i mean uh, architects who are working in a uh, green building kind of uh, concepts purpose is i actually because this is the my my position and whatever my career in architecture is the reason is our boss dinesh verma so because of him i became an architect and i worked and i even received a prestigious awards who actually any architects expects that kind of a uh, jobs so anyway finally when i have not studied when everything is a reason he is a reason i have to make a guru vandana so this is the way i expressed guru vandana through him i am recognizing good architects because society needs the uh, future green building kind of a development because india is having a vast opportunity to do future construction we can because it is not a war grown that is one big advantage in future we can think and make a development if at all all architects works towards green buildings uh, i think uh, we we are a very luckiest people compared to the western countries because they are war grown they can't do anything now at least now we can think and develop so we develop better so in that way rotary also expects I mean uh, to do this kind of a job that is why we joined with the rotary and iaa especially so today we really celebrated this is the first time we are in our rotary history we are doing it even uh, rotary governor joined with us and iaa president joined with us this is a very proud moment and uh, is i don't know how to thank all uh, dignitaries they have given a good respect i mean uh, mean obliged my invitation and they came here all the way and they encouraged me every year we will do this and we will develop better and better and recognize who do good job in countries in especially green building kind of a constructions yes sir i am architect dinesh verma and uh, today has been a day which i will say that is the proudest moment of my professional career thanks to rotarian dr sn ramesh who has been with me right from day 1 and together we have done some of the best buildings and the best designs which have actually seen the light of the day and which have been appreciated by lot of people in and around karnataka not only in karnataka but even in different parts of the country lot of people just talk lot of associations just say fine we'll do this we'll do this but then i've come across one person who's standing right in front of you dr s n ramesh who doesn't say that he will do but he actually does it and that is the difference between him and others he is a person who dreams for others he is a person who wishes for others he is a person who wishes for the entire community as what he just mentioned that yes we should all get together and make india a green place where eco tourism and eco buildings are really required and that is the future of our country for a good safe green society so hats off to dr s n ramesh who is the person who is the driving force behind this particular thing he has promised today in front of the entire community that yes every year he is going to have this award function where he is going to be awarding architects who have done exemplary works in this line of eco tourism so we need people like this and i call upon god to bless people like ramesh who have really got into this as a main thing and who have been you know sort of doing a one man job to create that environment to create that awareness and see that this type of a tourism and this type of buildings see the light of the day thank you thank you, you know, because iia is joined with us the jurys will be the senior architects of the iia member and uh, the basic they also demands they should be iia membership 
and the whatever the call i mean we call for a open competition after the submission the jury will select uh, in that jury almost five people will be there they all sit and discuss and finally come to conclusion and they select uh, two main people in a very category and also we give a award to the owner here very important is who give a platform who give a opportunity is a owner owner if he thinks like that then only architect can do so that is why we honor owners also in this uh, that is a main purpose and main thing is nowhere architects are recognized in uh, social media or some social uh, environment this thing this is the only the rotary is taken a first uh, the especially uh, rotary bangalore is taken a first drive i think everywhere this should go on so then only the environment will grow healthy when i received a award they how to say okay is really achieved to that level see that kind of awards are very much necessary so that is one proud moment till that time i was having a inferiority complex of course because i had not studied in any universities so after that after that award really it made my complete lifestyle change i never bent my head anywhere so i proudly say i did it and that is a examination i can say i won i won the certificate today morning when i got a couple of calls from my people you know sir congratulations sir this thing and all so i actually told them i feel like a small 2 or 3 year old kid who's uh, celebrating his birthday today and the enthusiasm which is there in that small kid to say oh my birthday i'm going to have this i'm going to have that, i'm going to get this so that type of thrill i have been feeling since today morning i was so thrilled i was so this i was looking forward to that day that yes there is something where is going to happen which i never dreamt about i never thought in my life that i am going to have something like this where on my name yeah is going to be a award and my name there's going to be an attachment which will be sort of honoring other people and today we have not only honored the people who have award who have sort of done some good work we had the senior most architect mr it is zakaria who also has been honored and was a sort of a rotary club and institute of architects together have given him that citation which is a major proud ownership to both of us and also i grown everything what i have and what i earned name fame money whatever is because of him because i have not studied anywhere that is one part of it maybe people may say why only on his name maybe so many people good architects are there for other people to as a vision for me entire world of architects architecture i have seen through his eyes that is very important so through him i am seeing because of that i have to put his name is nowhere why that name only why this name only this is pakka because i i am seeing through their society in his eyes through his eyes sorry i don't want to make any construction i sore and uh, uh, like a, a artificial kind of a thing and synthetic kind of environment see you see any uh, bird uh, nest or something it never looks ugly in the environment it merges with the nature so that is my purpose whatever my construction it should merge with the nature and we should use the same material where it is available there itself that is the main uh, thing especially resorts should not spoil the nature you may see yeah ooty and all we go and want to see the nature you you can't see any nature there now everything is looks like a concrete jungle so there should be a special thought on it architect should really think about it without spoiling to enhancing that beauty how we can construct that is a one point everyone should think that is what i am doing in my uh, like whatever my company next projects now you know already this guhantara we this already received a national award and uh, the next one is you are, you can see in chikmangalore jeri is a very nature friendly just eight rooms uh, category and now i am doing uh, another one siri there that is also eco friendly resort almost 100 rooms will come now already in function is a uh, ramnagara shilahandara shila handara it is means stone roof you can see the complete environment of chola kadamba kind of a historical i mean places 
uh, that kind of environment. So it merges with the uh, I mean neighboring rocks. So that is my style of uh, work. So I always feels every architect should think about that and let us not spoil the environment when we're doing a construction in a nature areas, not in a city areas, in a nature areas. And my designs, my things are also focusing in areas which are right in the heart of the city. And uh, today I'm proud to say that myself and my office, we have designed some of the buildings which have got accreditation from IGBC, Indian Green Building uh, uh, Association and all, which are platinum rated, where we sort of uh, generate our own power, where we are, you know, sort of using totally eco-friendly material, where we also see that, yes, whatever has been taken out from the site in terms of debris and things and all is reused, or it is not actually going and spoiling some other site or some other uh, this thing, right? He didn't, Ramesh did not mention that in his own project at uh, Jhari, he is generating his own power, yeah. which, which, yes. So that is what is eco-friendly. Eco-friendly, when we talk about, it is something what we get from nature and what we get back to nature. And we need to balance the two things together. It is no use just keep on pulling and pulling and extracting from nature and not giving back anything. Human beings are supposed to be the people, the tribe, which learn from history, which learn from our own mistakes. No other tribe in the world whether animals or whatever, they learn from the mistake. If you see a monkey, if you see a bird, every time if they commit a mistake, the next generation, next, everybody keeps on committing the same mistake. And that's how we are able to grow much more than them. But we people have learned now that, yes, in the past so many decades, we have spoiled our own uh, you know, community, we have spoiled our own society. We have come to a situation where when we say that two-thirds of the world is water, and today, one of the most scarce thing in the world is water. So when you come to that type of situation, there's been a certain shake-up in the entire society where, yes, we have to move towards something which is green, which we, which we use for our own self, for our own good, but we give it back to the nature in a manner that, yes, it belongs to you, we respect it, please, with all dignity and all. The government can make policies. But then until and unless there is a social consciousness of the entire thing, the policy is not going to work. We need to come to a situation when each one of us, we need to say that yes, we belong to a society which is going to support green, which is not going to create that type of garbage. We are not going to throw this here and there. We are not going to pollute our lakes. And it is the contribution of each one of us which is going to lead us there. If one person says two person is of no use, it is a social consciousness which has to be brought together. And this program which has been initiated by SN Ramesh and together with IAEA and Rotary and all is heading towards that. So we are very clear right from the beginning that yes, it should be something to do with green building and it will be, the award will be given to those architects and those owners of the places who have sort of agreed to make the place green. That yes, let us honor them so that this thing will be propagated to more and more people and that will help us to create this environment of green.